Today I'm going to show you a probability puzzle that I really like. It's the first problem from this excellent book, 50 Challenging Problems in Probability. There's no uh, sponsorship here, but I will put an Amazon link below um, if you want to take a look at that. Um, it's a really interesting problem, and I think there's a bit of a pun in the name of it as well. It's called the sock drawer, um, and it's because uh, there is a drawer full of socks, and we're also going to be drawing socks uh, from that drawer. So I suppose there is a drawer, and we are also the drawer. So, uh, it's a very interesting little probability puzzle. Um, I'll put it on the screen and talk it through so you can have a chance to pause the video and have a go uh, yourself before you watch the solution. And it's a very uh, neat solution, I think. A little bit of trial and error involved, but some nice uh, maths in there as well. Uh, the sort of maths you do at GCSE and A-level. So uh, without further ado, let's get on with the problem. We have a drawer that contains some red socks and some black socks, and we're told that when two socks are taken at random, the probability that both are red is 0.5. We want to know what the smallest number of socks that could be in the drawer and what would the answer to the question be if the number of black socks has to be even. We could start by trial and error. For example, if r equals 3 and b equals 2, then the probability that we get 2 red is 3 out of 5 times 2 out of 4, because once we've taken uh, one red sock, there will be two uh, red socks left and only four left in total. So that's 6 twentieths or 3 tenths. It doesn't take too long to find that if uh, the number of black socks is 1 and the number of red socks is 3, that we have the probability of 2 red is 3 quarters times 2 thirds, which is 2 fourths or, or 1 half. Uh, so we get the answer quite quickly by trial and error, but finding the answer to the second part is a lot harder. So we work more generally with B blue socks and R red socks, and we find the probability that we have two red socks would be R divided by R plus B. Initially, there are R red socks and R plus B socks in total. And then once we've taken one red sock, we would have uh, R minus one uh, red socks and R plus B minus one socks in total. So we get that second fraction there and we multiply to find the probability that both socks are red. So we need to solve that expression is equal to a half. So we just do a little bit of algebra, uh, some multiplying out and then refactorizing so that we uh, get the equation in the form of a quadratic equation in R. So once we've got that quadratic equation in R, we can just plug the coefficients into the quadratic formula, the coefficients being 1 uh, minus 1 plus 2b and b plus b minus b squared in the usual places of a, b and c in the quadratic formula. Uh, so we do all of that multiplying out and simplifying and we get this form uh, 1 plus 2b plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 8b squared over 2. In fact, we'll only be interested in the plus solutions that give us positive numbers here. So clearly we need r and b to be uh, positive integers. So it must be that uh, 1 plus 8b squared must be a square number, so that when I take that uh, square root, I get a whole number. Uh, so if we take b equals 1, we get 1 plus 8b squared is 9. That's 3 squared, and that gives us the uh, solution that we found previously, and we can try a few more values for b, 2, 3, 4, 5, until we get to 6, which is the next time we get a square number, uh, 17 squared, and so that gives us the solution to the second part, b equals 6, and r is equal to 13 plus 17 over 2, putting it back into the formula, which is 15, and so that's the solution to the second part.